Hello, Jess Too Good here with the LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog Tails' Workshop and Tornado Plane. This retails for $40 in the United States with two minifigures, four characters total, and has a total of 376 pieces. This was sent to me early by LEGO as a review copy. First, let's take a look at Tails. I mean, Tails is a character I've wanted as a LEGO minifigure since I can remember because Sonic 2 was the first video game I ever played and having to play it with my brother, I was always forced to be Tails. So I always loved Tails. And the design of Tails in minifigure form came out excellent. He uses dual molded short legs, a new tail piece that connects at the hip, as well as a new molded head. The head's hard plastic, but the tail is hard rubber and there's no back torso printing. And with the holes at the bottom of his tail, you could kind of make this float with the dish and pole connection included to hold the rings of the set, which is kind of interesting. But of course, when Tails is flying, he doesn't exactly look like this. This is the same Tails minifigure found in Amy's Animal Rescue, which is a set that's $10 more expensive in the United States. And while Sonic comes out of four out of the five sets of this wave, this is the version that comes in two sets, which is the winky face expression. This is also found in the $100 Green Hill Zone loop challenge. I love the dual molded legs, which have some side shoe printing, which looks excellent. And there's some back torso printing present as well. Buzz Bomber is an exclusive bad nick that appears in this set. Like, not even the idea set had a Buzz Bomber. And the design of this looks great from all angles, if you ask me. There's a lot of articulation, which I didn't expect, with the wings moving, the head moving, the antenna moving, then this part which holds a flicky. The flicky we'll get to in a bit, which is exclusive. But I really like this 1x2 double cheese soap, which is an exclusive print as well. And he just stands on a dish piece with a pole connection. Now for that Flicky, it's the same Flicky piece introduced with this wave, except this is the only set where you get a white version, and that looks really neat. Again, an exclusive design. For the builds of the set, there's a couple builds with two main builds and some side builds. The Tornado will be the first build I take a look at, and this is not the first time we got the Tornado in LEGO form. We got a miniature version for the Sonic level pack of LEGO Dimensions back in 2016. This is a really nice interpretation of the iconic vehicle first introduced in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The size is just about perfect. It gets the color scheme down well and you even have a print at the back which is used twice. That's also used once more in the Tails Workshop build of this set. But there is one thing that kind of annoys me. You see at the top right here, you have the space to put Sonic, which is accurate to the games and everything, but they don't give a replacement of one of these 2x2s to cover that up when you don't have Sonic on there. It comes off a bit awkward if you ask me. I kind of wish they just include that option to swap out that double cheese slope to include that 2x2 two two that's found on the rest of the top wing design. It's not a big deal though, but yeah, just a bit annoying if you ask me. Regardless, with Tails' is short legs, you have to have him standing up in the tornado, but there's enough space, say, if you want to have Sonic take over for Sonic to sit down there. The front design has no control panel present, and it's just a switch, and then underneath there's some landing gear for the vehicle. The set includes a couple rings which float on the pole and dish connection, like the Buzzy Bomber. This ring piece is so much better than the one that they've used for other Sonic sets before this wave, and it's new and exclusive to the wave. You get three in this set, which is excellent. I originally thought there was going to be more of a play feature with the rings and the tornado, but yeah, it's not even easy to knock them over. As for Tails' workshop, again, there's that 2x2 two two circular tile that appears on the tornado. And this design has some folding capability of how it's connected with each wall with some hinge connections. So you can kind of display it in some different angles. Also look at how there's the checkerboard design that's found in the Green Hill Zone sets in this front display. There's some flowers as well. But yeah, I like the versatility of the display there. This is a rather small building though and really a facade, but the interior has some nice printed details. The wall on the right, right there, has a 1x2 double cheese slope at the top, this 2x2 two two roof brick with a computer screen printing, the Chaos Emerald found in this set, as well as a 1x2 tile print, which I believe is the only exclusive one in this set. That's actually pretty cool. That's just clipped onto the wall right there, and you could use it to be held as a separate device. 
the left of the build has a reed nourishment area for the flicky which has a little plant as well as a water feeding area and then we have some tools at the top with a hammer and a crowbar as for the other builds there's a little lounge chair for sonic to chill out on which has some nice foldability to it and then we have this little tool drawer that is just kind of carried around at the bottom, there's a cool reference to Tails' love for mint candies. That's a cool deep cut. And then also at the top, there's a 1x2 printed tile. But moving on from the build of the set, I like the packaging once again, which looks great front and back. And then the instructions actually have two separate ones, which I was surprised to see. I wish more LEGO sets split up their builds so that you could build with somebody else and split up the sections, even if it is this small. So overall, this is my most hype set of the year. To have it all built, I love the build for the tornado, except for that little nitpick of, hey, they don't include an extra piece to kind of cover that up when you don't have a figure standing at the top. The design of the workshop is cool for what it does, but does feel undersized. I wish it wasn't a facade, but more of a full building, or maybe it had more walls to it or something. I don't know. I love the Buzzy Bomber build, and there's some extra side builds and just some great prints found throughout this set. None of the minifigures are exclusive, but there are exclusive characters with the Buzzy Bomber and the Flicky included. I think the $40 price is a little steep though. This is something that should be $30 to $35 at most. I guess if you're a price for piece ratio person though, with this having 376 pieces, it's not a huge blow. But if all things considered, I'd rate this set a strong 7 out of 10. Give me more Lego Tales sets, dang it. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this set. Subscribe here for more Lego Sonic reviews, and thanks again to Lego for sending me this early. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.